Hey kia ora, Tim here, the Grow Good Guy. And today just want to talk to you about B Corporations or B Corp uh, and why uh, my business Grow Good um, is one and why I'm such a passionate believer in the movement and, and what it's um, what it's doing for, for the world. And I guess to explain that, I want to just explain my a bit about my background, my history um, and what led me to discover B Corp. Um, I guess like a lot of people, I, I fell into a career. I, I had um, a trajectory that I thought I wanted to be on, uh, which didn't work out for me um, back in the day. And I sort of fell into the world of medical sales. So I, a friend of mine uh, was working for a company, Johnson & Johnson, and he just sort of said, look, I think you'd be a good fit for the company. Come in and, and, and give it a go, have an interview and, and see where you go. And so I, I passed and past the interviews and that started a 10 year career for me in the world of medical device sales. And it was great, a lot of opportunities, lots of travel, um, getting to, and my job was to go into the operating theater on a daily basis, support surgeries, make sure that the outcomes that the patients were getting and, and the surgeons and the surgical staff and the hospitals, make sure the outcomes were the best that they could be. So it was quite a satisfying job. But what really got to me um, over time um, was the fact that the industry I was working in, although it sort of does care still and did care about patients coming out in a better state, there were significant points um, and significant events over my career um, and significant events that are still going on in the industry that basically showed that the system actually fundamentally cared more about maximizing profit and in particular shareholder return than patient safety. Um, one of the first instances was I was working for a Swiss American multinational firm and um, it was fairly early on in my career and you know essentially there was a lawsuit put up against the company because um, I think it was around about eight people died in surgery from a product that the company I was working for had sold and essentially it, it you know the the evidence against them was essentially showing that the company knowingly launched the product too soon or was promoting the use of the product too soon before it had been fully cleared by the regulatory authorities um, because essentially they wanted to um, maintain market share or gain market share with, with a new product and so patient outcomes were compromised for, for profit but at the time um, you know you're in the middle of the machine I was a bit younger hadn't been through the sort of purpose awakening that, that I've been through and you just kind of yeah it kind of gets gets spun and you kind of go oh, okay well that's just acceptable risk um, I guess it's kind of like the old um, you know in the, in the motor industry if we have so many um, airbags that, that kill so many people by accident well that's an acceptable level of risk so that kind of got you know it's, it's really easy to try and put that into the recess of your mind and you kind of go back to your day-to-day -day work and so that's cool but then um, a second sort of uh, crisis of conscience occurred where essentially all the major medical device firms were subpoenaed by the Department of Justice in the United States and what would what had been going on and, and I guess again I knew that this was happening um, was that a large number of the surgical community were essentially being paid by the companies um, in return for um, their support of, of utilizing products, um, but also for them, you know, essentially going and giving a presentation or a talk at a, at a meeting overseas where they would, you know, say how amazing this product was and, and they'd maybe also get some, some funding to do a research paper, which the, the company would utilize to promote their products and the surgeon um, and their team kind of gets the kudos for having the paper. And this was like widespread. This was literally every major, um, Orthopedic, you know, orthopedics is what I was in. Every major orthopedic company was subpoenaed by the Department of Justice and basically had to show what they'd been doing. And they, they all got a bit of a slap on the wrist and, you know, don't do it again. Um, and most of the companies really did pull back that activity, but there's always a workaround. There's always a way that you can, you can make something like that happen. So again, that was kind of like the second thing that just, it kind of gnawed away at me a little bit, but I still hadn't had that full consciousness awakening yet to realize that this this really wasn't cool and um yeah it was really like the third step when i got to see the true economics of healthcare in new zealand and and got to understand how again the the, the community that is supposed to be all about fixing people actually 
predominantly cares about maximizing their profit and and their financial return um look i'm not saying that the community doesn't look to fix people it certainly does but there isn't there was a significant element of how could they profiteer um off the back of them fixing um, a patient and this 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 final discovery happened or, or occurred to me just after um you know, my wife and I had been through the Canterbury earthquake sequence in Christchurch, um, and just after the birth of our daughter, and a, a near-death experience, and the either the birth or death of, a, of you know the birth of a child or, or the death of a, of a close relative or someone close to you, those are two very um, well-published, um, I guess, mechanisms in which your subconscious is fully challenged, and this for me was the beginning of this wake-up process and. I literally came home from work one lunchtime and just said, I, I can't do this anymore. I've, I've seen too much of how this industry works and I, it doesn't fit with my value system. I kind of had this awakening. And so I quit I, I, and um, my wife and I had moved up to Auckland from Christchurch post earthquake. We managed to sell our house the day before um, one of the big earthquakes in Christchurch. So we were super lucky and managed to get up to Auckland for a couple of years, had our daughter. And I said, well, look, I want to get out of medical. We want to move back to Christchurch. Um, and I want to look at getting into a management or a leadership role. And so we did that. And I ended up getting into a different industry, this time involved uh, sort of around property, commercial property, as a, it's, it, for the firm of surveyors and engineers. And I kind of thought that the economics of healthcare were, were pretty screwed up. And then you get to see the economics of property. And you see how, again, almost all the people involved in the world of property all they really care about is maximizing their financial return at the expense of other people community society and the environment and this really really like just sent i don't know like chills down my spine i was just abject horror you know I, I just was thinking have i got 40 more years of working time which was a give or take what i might have might have had left at the time where um I just I, I've kind of seen this stuff. I know what the externalities of all these businesses are. Um, I I can't handle that. I can't I can't live with that. What do I do? And it was that kind of having seen it in two different industries. Like initially, I thought maybe it's just medical. Maybe it's just where 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 it's happening. But seeing it in another industry and seeing other industries associated with the world of property, where again it was just clear that just maximizing profit, maximizing shareholder return was was basically all that almost everyone cared about. It just, yeah, really threw me. And so I just started doing some research on it. And through that journey, I discovered B Corp. And because for a minute, when I was looking at all this stuff and I was looking at the world through this lens, and, and I think a big part of it was um, for me having a child, I started to look at the world and sort of go, well, what, what am I doing that's creating a better or worse world for this little thing that in you know 18 years time is gonna be taking over in the world in terms of her place in the world what what am i what am i doing what am i creating um, in terms of that world and um yeah so i discovered b corp and i went on a bit of a journey which ended up in in late 2015 me found, uh, founding my own business and there was there was it was never going to be anything other than something around purpose impact and a b corp because i just realized that 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 was my purpose that's what i could contribute to the world and I guess what really drives me is, is this whole concept of if, you seeing st if you're seeing stuff in the world that you don't like, you can sit there and accept it. You can sit there and tolerate it. Um, but when it gets to the point where you realize that it's not cool, you have to change. You have to get out of that. And you have to show what the world can be and what people can be. And yeah, so as part of that, that's why I, I, I basically you know, had to certify as a B Corp. Um, it was so awesome to find a community of you know over 2000 businesses around the world businesses individuals organizations that were thinking the same as me and that was the really big thing it's it, it when once you kind of see this stuff once you realize that the way business is operating is not cool it is not a framework that is going to create long term prosperity sustainability um, a long term environment for future generations you you feel very alone um and yeah, finding this community of other businesses, other organizations, other individuals that were like, no, 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 you, this, you've seen it, you know, you know that, th that this is the truth, but you know, but, but kind of welcome, there is this community, we, we recognize that and we're working on the solutions. 
And so, yeah, my business certified as a B Corps um, eventually, uh, I think it was like early 2016. So it's coming up to my second year as a B Corps. And yeah, for me, it's just, it encapsulates everything that a business has to be in this day and age. And um, that's why I'm such a passionate, uh, I guess, proponent or, or passionate um, advocate of B Corps um, and super grateful to be a B Corps ambassador in New Zealand to, to kind of spread that word. So yeah, for me, B Corps is just a mechanism. It's a framework for me to be able to truly express the values and the belief systems that I hold to be true and that I think are gonna help co-create a better world um, and help me, uh, I guess, just check and make sure that I'm being the best that I can be in my business so that I can keep being the change and, and keep iterating on that. And, and hopefully, well not hopefully, I know as a community, we are changing the world to be a better place. And um, it's, it's just amazing. I look back on where I used to be and how um, really unfulfilled actually I was and how it was all about just chasing money as a mechanism of success, whereas now chasing impact, chasing purpose and trying to build on that and make the world a better place. It's such a fulfilling place to be. So yeah, that's that's my candid and transparent um, uh, uh, journey as to why I chose to be a B Corps and like I'd love to hear your story if, if you are a B Corps or if you're on that journey to purpose I'd love to hear um, yeah what it was that led you to be a B Corps um, or what's leading you to think about being a B Corps and obviously grow good is all about helping people connect to purpose so if you're kind of in that zone where I was where you've started to see things for what they really are and, and you want to help to get out then please just do connect with me and I'd love to uh, be a part of your journey to freedom thanks See you soon.